is Anne Toledo and I'm currently a second year medical student at Pritzker and during the past summer between first and second year I visited Santiago, Chile as part of a public health education that I was learning. I've had an interest in public policy and specifically uh, comparative health policy between different countries so with health reform going on currently in the U.S., I thought it was especially prevalent time to learn more about how other countries have solved some of the problems that we're facing now. And in particular, University of Chicago had a connection that we were beginning to form with Chile. So I thought that would be a good place to start. The person that I got in touch with is actually Dr. Brian Callender. And what he and I did was began looking at primary literature related to Chile's health reform, which had actually begun in early 2000s and was implemented in 2005. We would meet throughout the spring on a regular basis to plan what kind of public health elective I would ideally do in Chile. And then once we had a basic plan fleshed out, he and I actually passed that along to our contact person with the University of Andres Bello, uh, Dr. Eduardo Costa and he got in touch with a potential mentor there for me, Dr. Lorraine, who ended up being my point person in Chile. We had made the program that I was interested in looking at, which mainly had to do with visiting um, several levels of the healthcare system there, both primary and tertiary care centers, so some of the places that I went to were local community clinics as well as one of the larger hospitals in Chile. And my intention was that I would spend time one-on-one -on -one with my mentor as well as visiting some of these places and ideally observing how their health system works. Um, either I would be paired with my mentor, Dr. Lorraine, or uh, actually a set of different mentors that they put me in touch with, all of whom were fantastic and very excited to work with me. Um, and I would be either working one-on-one -on -one with them, for example, just at their office in a setting, and they would be going over some articles that they would like me to read related to health reform in Chile and how that was currently playing out, and so we would discuss that one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I might meet with them and then a director of a health center in the school setting for an entire day sometimes. Um, on other days, I would be visiting a hospital or a smaller clinic. They would come pick me up where I was living in a local neighborhood in Santiago. And then we would drive out to one of these hospitals, get to or meet some of the directors of that hospital. I, in particular, was looking to interview a variety of health professionals, so they were going out of their way to put me in touch with them while we were at those hospitals. We would do the tour, meet some of the medical students, and then spend time in that facility just walking around and learning how they did their jobs there. The medical program there is a little bit different than in the U.S. in that they actually begin right out of their version of high school and they go for seven years and then graduate as a medical surgeon. So um, the medical students that I was working with were all people who were actually a similar age to me because, but they were in their final year of medical school. And I met them through the community health class that my mentor in Chile ran during their seventh year. Um, and so it's an elective for them that they all take. And I met several of the med students that way, as well as Dr. Costa putting me in touch with a couple students. A variety of those students are actually going to be doing the same thing here at the University of Chicago pretty soon. They actually did everything with me in Spanish, um, and that's how I functioned for the entire time that I was in Chile. And that was the expectation as part of my program there. In this particular case, in terms of how much you're able to interact with the patients and other staff members there. One will certainly have a richer experience, the better your Spanish is. Um, in terms of the lowest level Spanish, it would be possible to still feel like you're able to learn and contribute to the community that you're visiting. Um, I feel like intermediate to advanced is pretty necessary. This trip fantastically enhanced my medical education and Pritzker experience. Um, First, it enhanced my medical education in terms of exposing me to a uh, different health system that has a really broad public health coverage. And it gave me an opportunity to talk to some local physicians there in terms of how that's affected the kind of medical care that they give. Uh, speaking to them about how that's actually affected their workload with patients and the kinds of cases that they see on a regular basis as well as their um, ability to work full time in the public sector as opposed to splitting their time between public and private care uh, was very interesting. and help spur more of my interest in community health that I have now. Let me frame this in terms of some of the main issues that 
Dr. Callender and I talked about when we were planning my experience in Chile. Uh, the first being that there's always the question of when you're going to do something in global health, um, how much are you actually providing to that community? You are going into a community where they may or may not have a functioning health system and in addition they're needing to help orient you to that system. So I think creating an experience where you are able to contribute something either then or if not then, then come back later and try to work with them and do something helpful for that community. Um, for example, that's what I'm hoping to do with my further scholarship and discovery project. Um, I think that that's an important thing to consider and do your best to work toward that for one thing. Um, as far as having a global health experience from just my recommendation as a person, I think that's fantastic. I think that the best doctors are people who have been exposed to as many different and unfamiliar situations as possible and one of the best ways to do that is to go out, is to go as far from your comfort zone as one can and obviously an international experience uh, can often provide that. Among my goals, I am to right, now, right now in the middle of planning a, some kind of collaboration, I hope, with University of Andres Bello back in Chile. Um, if I were to return, I think that would probably not be until fourth year, uh, given the project that we're working on. But I would also, actually, uh, my goals include visiting a variety of other, preferably Spanish-speaking countries, since that is the language that I'm personally working on, but um, as many different settings as possible. So there's the Keith Edson Fellowship and the Pritzker Innovation Funding. The Pritzker Innovation Funding is for students who have come up with an original project, um, and that can actually be related to any track, it doesn't have to be global health, in my case it was, so um, I applied for that as well and they offered further assistance in terms of my um, covering the cost of my going on this trip. In the end with those two combined with the Keith Edson and the Pritzker Innovation Funding, I actually was able to cover the whole cost of the trip, including airfare and my lodging there, which was um, fantastic. I think that's partly what made this opportunity possible. I feel like one of the best things that a person can have in terms of training to be a physician is having experienced the feeling of you know, being an outsider. And whether that's because you're an outsider and you're trying to seek care at, in a system you're completely unfamiliar with, or just an outsider to a completely different country, that works too. And the reason I think that is so important is because that's exactly how every single patient is going to feel when they come to you as an expert in medicine. When they come to the doctor's office, most patients, other than maybe physicians and other health professionals who visit the doctor, are outsiders to the medical system and um, most medical knowledge. And so I think that that feeling remains of being really vulnerable as a patient. So being able to draw on remembering what it's like to be completely unfamiliar with system and needing to seek help from the people who run it, um, I think lends a great deal of compassion to a person in terms of when they're working with patients in the future and they may be feeling you know, frustrated or like they are unsure how to best serve another person, being able to keep in mind what it's like to approach a situation where you need help and have no idea how to go about receiving it um, is, I don't know, I think it's something good to keep in mind and a global health experience I think is one way that you can um, add some of that knowledge base to your medical education. Alright, hey everyone! So there are actually a variety of people I really want to thank for all of their help in preparing both the project and then doing that work when I was in Chile and uh, here at University of Chicago. Um, the Global Health Initiative has been a huge help in terms of organizing the logistics of my visit as well as uh, Dr. Brian Callender who works with the Global Health Initiative and Pritzker. He's, been, he's a fantastic mentor and often went well, well out of his way to help me make the connections that I needed to in order to have a good experience over the summer between first and second year and continues to be a very helpful mentor in that respect. Um, to the folks at Universidad Andres Bello, uh, I apologize to other watchers, I am going to say this in Spanish, but muchas gracias por la ayuda, uh, mi experiencia fue excelente y una Buena oportunidad de aprender más sobre el sistema de salud pública en Chile y la gente allá um, son muy amables y amigos por toda mi vida. Espero que esta, esta pase.